another episode of Among the Stars Celebrity Perfume Review. So today, I'm extremely happy to be bringing you guys my review of Pop Rock by Shakira. This perfume launched early 2016 this year and is the third edition in the uh, rock lineup. So the front looks like this this time and it says Pop Rock by Shakira. You've got a very bold gold font here um, with a pink, purple, and orange star. Um, and then there's kind of like a embezzled... Um, it's not super beveled out, but there is kind of a dot of a guitar here. Um, and it's got four dots here. Very kind of pop arty um, with the rock traditional logo down there. The sides are gold this time. The top has the uh, S logo with a orange tint to it. And then you've got the Shakira ad on the back, which this promo picture, I feel like is the exact same promo picture that was used on the Love Rock box, um, but just is my personal thought on that. So, notes for the, or the bottle looks like this, totally forgot that, sorry. Uh, looks like this, it's kind of a pinky um, colored fluid, and it says Pop Rock um, by Shakira. So, the notes for this one, top notes are mandarin, orange, black currant, um, pear and peach with middle notes of gardenia, Bulgarian rose, jasmine, and raspberry with base notes of patchouli, musk, amber, and cedar. So, when you first spray it, um, I definitely am getting a little bit of the black currant. I want to say I'm getting a little bit of the peach as well. Um, but the pear and the orange are kind of, mandarin orange are kind of just together and add a little bit of a fruitiness to the opening. As it starts to dry down, I definitely am pulling that Bulgarian rose. Um, it's not a super rosy fragrance, but it's definitely a note that you can smell. Um, definitely can also smell the gardenia, uh, giving it kind of a beautiful floral heart. The jasmine, the raspberry, they're also there. Um, raspberry, you can definitely smell it, adding kind of a development to the fruit that's in the very top. Um, what's cool is black currant has a similarity to raspberry. So, as it starts to dry down, you see that black currant develop into the raspberry, which I feel like the way that they did that was very, very beautiful. And it kind of gives it an elegant, um, lasting to the fragrance that kind of creates another level to it. Um, I get a little bit of the patchouli. It's not super there, but it's definitely, you can, like, if you know the patchouli's in there, you can pick it up. But it isn't super patchouli, and it isn't a super heavy fragrance. Definitely very light and very airy. Um, I get more musk and cedar than I do the amber and the patchouli. I'm not getting a whole lot of amber. Um, I'm getting more patchouli than I am amber. But even that, I'm not getting a whole lot of either one. Um, definitely kind of a, the floral interpretation to rock. Um, it develops really well. It keeps that fruity edge with the floralness still there. It isn't as floral and green as a magnetic elixir. Um, it's more of a fruity, it's more of a floral with a fruity edge than anything. I don't want to say it's a fruity floral. It is a fruity floral, but it's reversed, so it's a floral fruity. Um, definitely more floral notes than fruity notes. I definitely say this would be great for summer and spring. Um, lasting power, I get about five to six hours on the higher end for the Shakira um, rock line, and even it being an eau de toilette. Um, but it is closer to that five hour than this to the six hour. So, um, Silage, this one's kind of closer. It isn't super far out. Um, I definitely say it's closer to a half an arm length and a full arm length, um, but it can gradiate in between that half and to a full. It just depends on you, the weather, and how it um, develops with you. So there you guys go. There is my review for Shakira's Pop Rock. As always, guys, thanks so, so much for watching. Follow me on Twitter, A The S Perfume, and Instagram, Among The Stars Perfume. Links are in the description below. And as always, guys, thanks so much for watching. Bye.